Hi, this is the um, third video in the playlist on vectors. And uh, now we are at sort of a, a star type questions at this sort of level. So you need to be fairly familiar with the principles. So if you need to go back to the previous videos on the playlist, then hopefully they'll give you some indication of how to deal with the kind of problems that we're dealing with at the moment. So this particular question concerns a triangle. Um, and very typically with a lot of these questions, they always seem to use the same designation and they say O, P and Q. OK, what we're told about this particular triangle is there is a vector P and a vector Q. OK, now unfortunately my handwriting isn't particularly good, so I hope you'll be able to see that this is vector P um, or vector OP is vector P there and Q there. All right, so to make it a little bit more complicated, what they've done is they say actually there's a midpoint. So we could call that midpoint S. Okay, that's right in the middle. And what they would like us to do is to find the vector OS. So in other words, got to go from O here to S. Can't go straight there, I'm afraid. What we've got to do is we've got to go around the houses a little bit. So what it tells us is that we can go from O to P and then halfway from P to Q because it's a midpoint. Because this is half and this is half. So actually we're in a position that we can get to S, but we just have to go around a little bit. So vector OS is going to be vector OP which is easy because we know that's P, and then it's going to be P to Q plus P to Q, but actually we only need a half of it, a big part, yeah, vector P S, which we know is a half of vector P Q. Okay, so we need to go from P to S, which is their vector P to S, but we know that that's actually half of the distance from P to Q, so it's a half PQ. OK, let's start plugging in a bit of detail and see if we can find a way of getting us to uh, vector OS. So OP is OK, well we know that is P, so that's absolutely fine. All right, well PS, as we said, is a half PQ, so let's see if we can find PQ. Well PQ vector PQ, again we can't go directly from P to Q, we have to go around the houses and the way to go around the houses is we need to look at uh, vector PO and then we need to add that to OQ. Okay, so I hope that's alright with you that this is the way some of these get a little bit more complex that we can't go directly, we have to go around. So P to O, which is this one here, we know is minus P. And then we've got O to Q is Q. All right, so that will give us vector PQ. And as we said before, actually, to go vector PS, we only need a half of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this out as P plus a half of minus P plus P. Q. Okay, and this bit here is vector P S. All righty, and this bit here is vector O P. Okay, and then we just need to deal with the brackets themselves. Now, actually, generally speaking, that would be good enough, and that would gain you quite a few marks on this particular question. But because they tend to be high-value questions, you need to be able to tidy this up a little bit and just make it a little bit neater. Um, generally, these types of questions usually tend to be three, maybe four marks, and the final mark is reserved for this final tidy up. Okay, so what we're going to say is vector O S. Well, that's going to be P. Now, we've got a half p times negative p, well that's going to be minus a half p, and then we've got plus a half times uh, plus q is going to be plus a half q. Okay, so let's just tie that up, I've got p minus a half p, well that's going to be a half p, and then I've got plus a half q. And that would answer this particular question. 
Okay, I hope that's been helpful to you. This is actually part A of this particular question. Uh, now I'm going to leave part B in the next video because uh, what it does is it puts another point in here which they're called R and it asks you to determine that this RS is parallel to OQ. So we're going to look at that in the next video. Um, I hope this bit has been helpful to you. Please do add a comment below. I'll always get back to you. Please subscribe. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.